Welcome to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Are you thinking about moving here? This is a town filled with a rich history and a vibrant community. In this video, we're gonna dive into the pros and the cons of living right here in Carlisle. And we're gonna get real with it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in central Pennsylvania, including right here in Carlisle, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the market here in central Pennsylvania. My name is Josh Krebsky. Aaron, the team and I, we get calls and emails all the time from folks just like you that are thinking of moving to the area and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving now or six months from now, call us, email us, text us, we can even set up a live Zoom call and get connected today. All of our information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to the area. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what makes living in Carlisle great. We'll also fill you in a couple downsides to living in the area. That way you can have a full perspective. As we always say, there's no place that's perfect, but we really love it here in Carlisle. And we're confident that you will too. So without further ado, here is our first pro of living right here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and that's gonna be its rich history. One of the biggest advantages of Carlisle is its deep historical roots. The town is brimming with beautiful preserved landmarks and buildings, providing a window into its storied past. From the Carlisle barracks to the old courthouse behind me, history enthusiasts will find themselves immersed in a treasure trove of historical relics. Leading up to the American Civil War, Carlisle served as a stop for the Underground Railroad. During the war, an army of Confederate soldiers under General Fitzhugh Lee, which was the, actually the nephew of the famous General Robert E. Lee, attacked and shelled the borough during the Battle of Carlisle on July 1st, 1863, as part of the Gettysburg Campaign. A cannonball den can still be seen on one of the columns of the historic county courthouse. The U.S. Army War College, located at the Carlisle Barracks, prepares high-level military personnel and civilians for strategic leadership responsibilities. Carlisle Barracks ranks among the oldest U.S. Army installations and the most senior military educational institutions in the United States Army. Carlisle Barracks is home of the United States Army Heritage and Education Center, an archives and museum complex open to the public. We actually showed you that in the previous video. Carlisle also hosts Penn State Dickinson School of Law and Dickinson College. Okay, so pro number two here in Carlisle is going to be nature. Now, there are so many picturesque views uh, of Carlisle from, from postcards or, or film or video, YouTube videos you might have seen. The quintessential rural Pennsylvania, rolling hills and farmlands, the Blue Mountains, the Appalachian Mountains, but beyond that, Nature lovers will rejoice in an abundance of outdoor opportunities that Carlisle has to offer. The town of Carlisle is nestled near several state parks like Pine Grove Furnace State Park and Misho State Forest. And these are wonderful natural resources and wonders that provide a lot of opportunities for hiking, camping, fishing, trail running, and so many other things. Today, I'm standing along the banks of the Conna de Gwinnett Creek. And behind me is the Latour Falls, which empty into the Conna de Gwinnett. You might see some families and kids doing some tubing back there. Tubing is a big activity in the summer months on the Conna de Gwinnett, and it's a lot of fun. So that is where we're at now, and there is the Cave Hill Nature Center as well. The Appalachian Trail runs through Carlisle, about 45 miles of it run, th run directly through Carlisle. Uh, Cave Hill Nature Center is a wooded and undeveloped nature preserve. Uh, that's located just north of the borough, uh, borough of Carlisle. Uh, there's steep inclines and wonderful views and vistas, some great hiking out there. And uh, the Carlisle uh, Borough has a great website that'll give you more information about things to do in nature, different hikes, camping excursions, and things like that. So for that reason, nature is number two on our pros list here in Carlisle. And this is gonna lead us to pro number three, and that's schools and academics. Carlisle is home to Dickinson College, where we're actually at right now. It's a renowned liberal arts institution. With its distinguished faculty and diverse student body, the college adds an intellectual and cultural vibrance to the town. Residents can enjoy access to a wide range of events 
lectures, and performances that enrich the community. The college was founded in 1773 and offers various undergraduate programs and is also known for its commitment to sustainability and global education. It's also partnered with Penn State Law just a few years ago. So now it's Penn State Dickinson Law. All right, so next you're gonna have the Carlisle Area School District. The school district serves the local community and includes multiple elementary schools, middle schools, and a high school. The high school offers a wide range of academic programs, sports, and extracurricular activities. Some stats on the Carlisle Area School District, and we base this off of niche.com as well as greatschools.org. Niche.com rates Carlisle Area High School at a B plus. The average graduation rate is around 88% and the student-teacher ratio is about 14 to one. And lastly, we have the United States Army War College. It is a prestigious institution located right here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. It's a senior educational institute of the United States Army that provides graduate level education and professional development for military officers and civilian leaders. All right guys, pro number four here in Carlisle is gonna be the small town feel that it offers. Now this might not be for everybody. Some of you might want that bigger city vibe. I know I like a slower pace of life. Here I am again on Hanover Street. This is gonna be the main drag here in Carlisle. So most of the shops here that you see are mom and pop, smaller boutique little cafes and restaurants, some of which you might have seen in our prior videos or some of the shorts that we've done. We just had a great lunch at a nice Egyptian grill called King Tut's. We've eaten at Market Cross Pub over here and Red's Barbecue uh, and Hanover Grill. There's so many nice spots here. You can walk down the street and recognize your neighbor. Walk down the street and see a bartender from a local pub or you know, a, a, somebody that you might work with. It's a good way of life. It's a slow pace of life. And things aren't really spread out everywhere. This is kind of the main concourse, the main corridor of things to do and, and, and things to see here in Carlisle. Some great antique markets bookstores, cafes, so small town feel and small town way of life, surrounded by a rural community and some great neighborhoods that, that continue to develop is why the small town feel is pro number four for Carlisle, Pennsylvania. That's gonna lead us to our last pro of the day, which is gonna be affordable living, pro number five. When it comes to the cost of living, Carlisle offers a more affordable alternative compared to larger cities in the region. Housing options are diverse and residents can find comfortable and affordable homes to suit their needs. This allows individuals and families to live comfortably while stretching their budgets a little further, which comes in handy these days. Overall, Carlisle has an A rating on niche.com, a median home value of right around 186,000, Medium rent is right around $900 a month, and Carlisle's median household income is about $52,000 per year. All right, so while Carlisle has many positives to choose from, it's important to consider a few potential drawbacks as well. And next, we're gonna cover a few cons of living here in Carlisle. Con number one is traffic and congestion. So we talked about this a little bit with Harrisburg being the capital city and also being close to so many major transportation routes like 81, 76, and 78. The same will apply to Carlisle. An added perspective to that is that the logistics hubs that are stationed in Carlisle, the manufacturing, the warehousing, the distribution, all of that coming out of Carlisle. Carlisle is the largest trucking center in the Northeast. So a lot of 18-wheelers, a lot of ground freight by way of trucks are moving through Carlisle at all times. In addition to that, there are those same major highway networks that we discussed in Harrisburg, like 81, 76, 78, all moving through there. So depending on the time of day, depending on the part of Carlisle that you're in, and depending on how often you are in the car or on the road, you may deal with some traffic congestion, and you may deal with uh, a lot of 18-wheelers and zipping around uh, town at all at all times. If that's something that bothers you, uh, you might want to just keep that in mind in terms of the particular areas of Carlisle that you're looking in. If it doesn't bother you, uh, then just kind of take a note of that and, and keep it in mind and make sure you're you're traveling at appropriate times. All right, so con number two of living here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania is going to be the weather. 
uh, more like the extreme weather. So if you like all four seasons, you know, if you're accustomed to all four seasons, then it's not really too much of a change for you. Um, you're going to experience that here. You're going to experience the uh, beautiful fall foliage in, uh, in the fall. You're going to experience the you know, winter sports, the outdoor activities in the winter. Also, the, the same with the summer and as well as the spring. But what I'm referring to is kind of the extreme weathers. And what I mean by that is this. So number one, harsh winters. Carlisle experiences cold and snowy winters, which can be challenging for those not accustomed to it. So if you're moving from the south, you're moving from the west, um, milder climates, this is gonna take some getting used to. Although this past winter was actually not bad. It's probably the most mildest winter that I've ever seen in my life. I don't even think we got like more than four inches of snow. So, but it's typically not like that. Usually we see, you know, winter uh, storms throughout the entire season, starting in December, the whole way until March. On the flip side of winter, you have the humidity in the summertime, and we do experience high levels of humidity here, starting in June, July, August, as well as September. Uh, take for instance today, 95 degrees out, it probably felt about 110. Temperature extremes, like I was just talking about, the region experiences significant temperature fluctuations throughout the year. Summers can be hot and muggy, winters can be bitterly cold. So this might be challenging to plan outdoor activities without checking for the weather first. We do have severe weather here. Things like thunderstorms, heavy rains, and even occasional tornadoes. Allergies in the spring. I am very susceptible to allergies. Um, I start probably in April and uh, they don't go away until about October. Um, limited outdoor activities in winter. So since we have somewhat harsh winters, it may limit the outdoor activities. So especially if you're used to being outside all year long, you might have to rethink that here. Um, higher energy costs. So because of the extreme temperatures in both winter and summer, it may result in increased energy consumption for heating as well as cooling. So that could lead to higher utility bills. So that's gonna be con number two. Okay, so con number three is the lack of entertainment and shopping. Now don't get scared off by that one. Um, I'm not saying that there's nothing to do in Carlisle, not at all. Uh, there, it's a very charming town with a great history, as we've said. There's plenty to do in town, as we've shown you. But the larger scale cultural events, live theater, live music, the higher end culinary experiences. You're gonna to wanna to travel to Hershey, Harrisburg, Lancaster, York, even as far as Philadelphia for those. All of those towns are accessible from Carlisle. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't still a great vibe in the downtown area. There's cool little breweries and mom and pop shops and cafes and restaurants. But the larger scale experiences, you're gonna to wanna to travel outside of Carlisle. And many of you will like that. Many of you will like that idea of kind of getting out of town, uh, going to the larger cities for those larger events, and then coming back, and nestling into uh, your, your hometown community there in Carlisle. Carlisle is the kind of town where you're gonna walk down the street, you're gonna, you're gonna recognize your neighbor, you're gonna recognize the person walking down the street there with you. Um, you're gonna become accustomed to a lot of these great shops uh, and, uh, and places to visit. But for those higher end, larger scale experiences, you have a lot of offerings in the peripheral areas around Carlisle. All right, guys, so it's Josh here, and we are joined once again by our good friend, Rebecca Foote, from the Rebecca Foote Mortgage Team. And she's gonna talk with us a little bit about the state of the market right now. Right before I turn it over to Rebecca, I just wanna mention, as we often do, Aaron and I, we give you our market updates. So I wanted to touch base with the units listed, the pending units, and the units sold for July. And as has been the case for the past year, we are still noticing a, a trend of about 20% down from last year. Things were just on fire last year, so we're still kind of seeing that in the 20-ish in the to 25% uh, decrease in terms of the units listed, units pending, and units sold. Uh, it is still very much a seller's market. We're getting multiple offers on homes. Homes are selling for over asking price, and buyer confidence is inching up, but we're still waiting for those drops in the, in the interest rates uh, to really see the buyers rush the market again. 
That's why we have Rebecca here. And uh, I just want to turn it over to her and, and hear some of her expertise uh, as we sit here on Dickinson College campus on this steamy July afternoon. Well, thank you, Josh. And you know, we're seeing the exact same things that you just mentioned, the competing offer situations. Um, the good news is, it, it being mid-July right now, we actually got June's inflation report came out and it was lower inflation. We are now at 3% year over year, which means that we actually got a little bit of a drop in interest rates right now. So they did come down a little bit. Hopefully that will hold on, but I think you'll see another drop next month and then we'll, we'll probably level out for a little bit. But we are definitely seeing those multiple offers and buyer confidence is definitely coming back. That's good news. And uh, if you're looking for a great local lender, reach out to Rebecca Foote and her team at the Rebecca Foote Mortgage Team, and we'll check back in with you soon. All right, guys, thank you for watching our pros and cons video of Carlisle. Make sure that you also watch our vlog of Carlisle as well as the map video to get the full perspective of what living here in Carlisle would be like. As a native of central Pennsylvania, I've always loved Carlisle. I love the small town feel. I love the great uh, educational institutions, the rural communities around here, the affordable way of living, and so many little cute shops uh, along here on Hanover Street. If you like this video and you want to see more just like it, make sure to subscribe to our channel, tap the bell for notifications, that way you'll be the first to know about all the new content coming from us at the Living in Central PA team. From myself, Josh Krebsky, Aaron Rissinger, and the rest of us at our team, thank you as always and we'll see you soon.